as much as we try and convince ourselves, our significant others, and each other that overlanding isn't about the gear, it kind of is. To soften the blow on your next few acquisitions, I have put together this list of overland and camping gear that you can find on Amazon. Amazon is often equated with cheap or budget shopping. The gear list I'm about to cover spans a range of prices, but the one thing that it all has in common is that it isn't just junk you're gonna end up replacing. Everything I talk about in this video is something I actually use, and you will too. I haven't padded this list with stuff you might use or even old stuff I used to use. Nope, this is current Overland gear for 2022 that you'll find at my campsite. I mean, I have it with me and you'll find it on Amazon. Number one on the list is this propane tank and case, which together costs 150 bucks. This is the Ignit Growler. It's a five pound propane tank and it comes with a nifty case. So that's pretty cool. I have an 11 pound propane tank that I also got on Amazon, but I honestly just gave it to my brother because I found that my trips don't need a lot of propane. So it's nice to have this little guy and then not worry about that 11 pound and trying to fit it somewhere. So I mostly use a stove to cook and occasionally a propane fireplace. I used to have a big Camp Chef propane fireplace, which uh, I also gave to my brother, so that's kind of funny. Uh, but now uh, I have this and I also have the Ignic little fireplace and they work well, but there is just something about building my own campfire and, you know, using wood and, you know, all that stuff. So uh, this, it's great. Uh, the build quality of the tank, I really like. The cover, I'd say is a good, a good cover. And honestly, for the money though, and for something I don't need to strap to the outside of the Bronco somewhere, I'm really happy with it. And I think you will be too. There's just no more need to carry all those little green tanks and add to landfills or try and get those refilled at places that don't refill them. It's just a mess. So no more green tanks onto this. But that does bring us to the next item on the list, a steel braided conversion hose for those green one pound tanks. Running a larger propane tank to cook on a typical camp stove is going to require a conversion hose. This one I have is a five foot long steel braided one and uh, I think it's plenty. It gets to the ground and it reaches my stove. Anyway, 25 bucks. So totally worth it if you're gonna upgrade to a larger propane tank. Next up is this little pouch of cutlery. I added this to my kitchen box Oh, quite a while ago, and I really haven't looked back. I, I mean, it gives me home quality utensils without needing to carry a massive kitchen set like the Front Runner one, and this whole little thing costs 15 bucks. It's simple, it's functional, and it prevents me from filling up a trash bag with forks after every meal. Nobody likes forks poking holes in their trash bags, and we especially don't like that now perforated trash bag breaking open and dropping litter all over our camp. This simple utensil kit will solve all of those problems. Keeping with the kitchen theme, I added this Stanley cookware set to my kit a few years back on Black Friday. Since then, I've seen them run sales on this thing all the freaking time, which is awesome because it's become a staple for my entire kit. It'll usually set you back around $85, and for everything packed into this little pot and pan kit, it is worth it. With plates, bowls, a pot, a pan, it's perfect for compact packing, clearly. Uh, it did come with a, a spatula and a cooking spoon and forks, and I... I got rid of those because they felt cheaper than like a McDonald's Happy Meal toy. And it's easy enough to add the nicer ones that I just showed you. So it's not worth those. Uh, the pan isn't nonstick. So it does take a few uses to really become a great tool for frying up chicken and all that other stuff. But overall, it's become a staple. So I, mean, I love it. And it's likely to remain a staple for me. I should have talked about this one earlier, water is a necessity and ignoring it can kill you. These blue jugs have been my go-to for portable water storage. I have both the bigger seven gallon and this four gallon. And depending on the length of my trip and the availability of water on that trip, I mix up whichever one I take with me. I usually reserve the water in these for cooking and cleaning and try to carry some gallon sized jugs in my fridge for drinking water. On longer trips, I'll refill the fridge gallons from this uh, just to make sure I always have cold drinking water. I mean, these are basic, and for 20 bucks, you really can't complain. So, you carry water. Now that you have dirty dishes and water, you need a sink. These collapsible sinks, look how cool this is. They're easy on the budget, uh, just 20 bucks for a pair of them, and they clearly don't take up a ton of space. Uh, I'm not sure what more to say about a portable sink. Um, it's a need that we all have. Uh, and this one here, it 
it fits it nicely. So there you go. Uh, the last kitchen related item is my new chair. I'm actually sitting in it right now. The Front Runner Expander is, it's really a world renowned, compact, fast to set up camp chair. I have been hunting for a good camp chair for the last, I don't know, decade. And uh, this is just a simple answer. I, I don't know why I've always avoided it. I just thought there's gotta be something better. And clearly there isn't because everybody uses this chair. So I got a couple of them. At 80 bucks, it isn't terribly expensive, but it isn't cheap either. Do what you will for chairs, but I'm here to tell you, this one right here, it's the one. I've spent enough money on chairs to, to say, I, I should have just bought these forever ago. Now let's talk about keeping warm with our next section, comfort. I have a few things I regularly carry to keep me toasty when the sun sets, starting with an electric blanket. This bad boy runs on 12 volt, and I use it like a heated seat. I sleep on top of it instead of under it, and it creates a great barrier from the cold, especially in a rooftop tent where you have that air gap under the tent. You can honestly run whatever electric blanket you want. I just like the 12 volt one so I can run them on my Goal Zero all night. And again, it's not a really a budget breaker. Uh, this thing probably cost me 30 bucks. I have two of them. This one's my newer one. It's a little bit bigger. So I'm excited to use this in the tent next time it gets cold. Uh, the expensive part of this is uh, the Goal Zero Yeti 500X. Uh, this is my do-it-all battery. I don't just use it for my electric blanket. This is really just my go-to. I do have a 1500X installed at all times in the Bronco, but carrying a 500X is perfect when setting it up on, I don't know, a table here or to power some lights or charge a camera or keep phones running and everything else. I mean, this is a solid battery and it's treated me right for the last few years and it's perfect paired with an electric blanket. So there you go, get these out of the way. The uh, next is my rumple blanket. I have talked about these quite a bit in the past, but these are great for in the tent, around the fire. It's just nice to have a blanket that can play in the dirt and still keep me warm. Both my wife and I have our own rumples. Uh, they aren't in the cheap bracket, but we like these national park ones. They're, it's just cool to have one of a place I've been to, but you could pick one of these up for, it's around a hundred bucks. The last way to keep warm is while you're out here, it's a campfire and this little firewood bag is a must. Uh, it keeps all of the slivers and wood shavings contained. It's, it's nice. This bag right here is my top selling affiliate product on Amazon. I feel like every time I talk about it, they sell out. Uh, and I'm sure that after watching this, they're gonna see another spike. So I love this bag and I love that so many of my viewers love it too. Moving on to some recovery gear. There is always some recovery item on Amazon that you can gamble with like knockoff Max Trax traction boards or unrated straps and screw pin bow shackles. It's really just something I don't recommend leaving to Amazon to decide, but there are two items that I trust and that I can recommend. The first is an air compressor in a box. This is the ARB single in a box and it's what I'm running. And at 400 bucks, it's not cheap, but it's not as expensive as installing an ARB twin. It's good, it's not great. And for the money and the ease, I think that's the payoff. It's just worth it to a lot of folks, especially those who are, I would say a more car camper than Overlander. So this thing's great. Like I said, I use it currently with the Bronco, does me good. Next, and uh, the second, is that other shot? There you go is uh, my first aid kit. The MyFac from MyMedic is a compact first aid kit. So it's small, it's easy to store almost anywhere for quick access, and it isn't just a Band-Aid kit from a pharmacy section at the grocery store. Uh, this thing, it costs 150 bucks, and I've been lucky enough to personally visit the MyMedic headquarters, and these cats, they know their stuff, and their kits reflect that. I have a lot more to talk about on these kits in the future, but for now, you gotta know that they are absolutely worth it and something that I think everyone should carry. Now to close out this list, I have some random additions with a section I'm calling randos. If your upcoming trips are prone to swarms of mosquitoes, this is absolutely worth looking into. Uh, it's just a bug repellent coating. You can coat your tent, awning, jackets, and whatever else you're going to be hiding in. When you're under attack from a swarm of bloodsuckers, you will pay almost anything to get away. So for $17, 
this is a bargain. I told you this was gonna be random at the tail end here. And next I'm showing off my new favorite boot, the Danner Bull Run Mock Boot. Uh, I'm still in the break-in period, I think, with this. I got them maybe two months ago. Uh, but I will say that after the first week, I was wearing these for a full day easy. Next is my favorite headlamp. From previous videos, I've learned that a lot of viewers are really passionate about their headlamps, but look, this is my video, and you're welcome to comment with a link to your Amazon list explaining your favorite gear. As for me, I love the Claymore cap on ADC. It clips right to the bill of my hat. It has all the modes I need for, you know, being around camp. And at $50, it's tech packed. So, I mean, I'm just having a hard time finding a replacement for it because it's it's just that good. Something that I don't think we talk about enough is the ever looming call of nature. For that, I use this clean waste toilet. These are made up in Montana by folks who understand that sometimes you have to pack it out. They offer sanitary bags that are odor free, or you can just dig a little hole under it and get that call over with in comfort for around $80. You can have some of the best meetings with nature that you will ever have. Now, this is it. This is the last thing on the list. This tiny knife is one of my favorites. I talked about it in a few videos before, but I keep finding myself carrying this in lieu of my fancier Benchmade. It'll run you 60 bucks or so, so it's not the most expensive knife in your collection, but it is a cheaper knife and definitely makes my recommended list. Uh, this is the Civivi Baby Banter, and I, I love it. So Amazon is clearly a massive online store with thousands of merchants that stock various quantities of everything and uh there's always just an ebb and flow so some of these links may be sold out when you're watching this video and some of them might have stock for days i don't know but uh, i'd love to hear what some of your gear that you've gotten off amazon is so let me know in the comments and once again everything i went over in this video is linked below and it is an affiliate link so that does it for me if you like the video please like the video if you have a question leave me a comment and if you want to hang out again make sure to subscribe until next time, I'm Justin B. McBride.